So hello everybody, it is Friday, so it's time for another Dax Friday, it's a new Dax function every Friday. In today's Dax Fridays we're going to battle Count and Count Rose. And you are going to be surprised again. I'm sorry to do this to you on a Friday, but it's gotta be done. Somebody's gotta do it, so let's get started. So before we start doing anything, what do you think is going to be faster? Count or count rows when you're trying to count the rows on a table. Just as a hint, count counts a column, while count rows counts an entire table. So which one do you think is going to be perform better? I'm going to give you two seconds to think about it. I would have said count because it counts a column. It should be faster to count a column than to count a table. Well, I saw these on the Microsoft documentation. Use count rows instead of count. Ah, what? <laughs> uh, it, says, it says here, there are three reasons why you should use count rows. It says, it is more efficient count rows, so it will perform better. Unfortunately, it doesn't say why. How could a count in a table be more efficient than counting a column when Tables are stored as columns in Power BI. It just makes no sense. But they created this. They know this better. We have to take it for what it is. They say that it's more efficient, so it's more efficient. That's why. So it, when you're counting rows or tables, you just count rows. Then it says it doesn't consider blanks containing any column of the table. And that's what things started to get very creepy for me. So I have here a table. I'm going to show you part query because the part query is easier to see. Um, I have a column with name and nulls, a true or false, and then I have a column with name and blanks. Blanks and nulls are not the same. I have a video on it. Go check it out. Okay. And when they say index a blank, they mean a null, not an empty. Not this blank, okay? This for me is a blank, this is an empty. <laughs> but semantics, right? Okay, so if I do a count count null with count, so count, you remember, counting requires a table, or a column, so you have to put a column in there, put it in there as a card, and then it says five. So it's ignoring the blanks or the nulls. What happens if I do count row? Count row is count rows and then you have to put the entire table counting. So because they are saying that ignores the blanks, I was actually expecting to see five. I see seven. It is counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It is counting everything. How weird is that? Now, let's count. Count blank with count. Count and then take the blank column. Put it in there. Seven. So this is the blank. They look the same, but you can't. In Power Query, you can see nulls and blanks. In Power BI, in Power Pivot, in DAX, you can't. Everything looks the same, but it's not, which is a pity, actually. So as you can see, count blank, it counts the blanks because it is a value, but it's empty value, or it's like no value. And here it is empty, so it doesn't count. You have to be very, very careful with blanks and empties and all that stuff. It's just, and then I just did the true false because while we are here, how about we say this count does not count count to do the true. What is it? True false? No. What is it? Counting. Oh, it's called true false only. Count true false. You are going to see that it doesn't count true false. To do that, you have to use count 
a note that is very often that you count true or false maybe but just in case that you count it now you know that count won't count true or false and then when you use count a it counts six <laughs> now i have a video explaining the difference between count, count the x, count the... Uh, I'm going to post it here just if you want to see the mess with count. But if we go back to the actual subject of this video, which is should you use count or count rows to count tables, count rows to say that it's more efficient, it doesn't consider blanks. Beats me, I don't know. And the intention of the formula is clearer to the point of being self-describing. I agree with that. Obviously, if you write count rows, it is counting rows. When you're writing count, it can count anything. So yes, it definitely is more intuitive to have count rows. I would love to know why count rows is more efficient. What is it doing in the background that actually makes it more efficient? I can't see it. But anyhow, Guys, counter count rows, count rows. If you have a large table, give it a go. Let us know if it actually performs better and how better, much better it performs. Th this thing with blanks, if you have any idea why it does says it doesn't consider why in fact it is counting blanks, just let us know also. So I don't know if I answered a lot of questions or if I actually gave you more questions that you had in the beginning, but so much matter. If you are going to count rows on a table, use count rows and not count. Okay, so this is all for today. I will see you again on Monday, hopefully with a less confusing video. And until then, take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>